It's time once again to bring out the toy lightsabers and dive back into the Star Wars universe. Taking place between episodes 6 and 7, Star Wars Battlefront 2 offers a chaotic multiplayer and an engaging campaign. The campaign follows the events surrounding Inferno Squad and its commander, Aiden Versio, as the Empire begins their next mission, Operation Cinder. Whether you're fighting in large-scale battles or taking on battle scenarios, you'll need to be smart with your approach. So follow these five tips and you'll be brighter than a Zabrak spine on Embara. Tip number one, cards and crafting. Star cards are one quick way to beef up any character. There are two types of star cards, ability and boost. Now ability cards add a new ability to the character's class it's attached to, like increasing your cooldown rates or enlarging your grenade blast radius. And boost cards will boost pre-existing skills of your character, like health regeneration upon a kill. You can obtain star cards from the campaign crates or crafting. But if you're looking for a specific card, crafting is by far the easiest way. At level 5, you can begin crafting common level star cards. Once you're level 10, you can upgrade those cards from common to uncommon. At level 15, you can upgrade uncommon to rare, and at level 20, rare to epic. Upgrading star cards won't change the attribute of the card, but it will increase its effectiveness. Along with player level, each character class has a star card level. This level is based on how many star cards you have for that specific class. The larger your star card level, the more cards you can attach to a character class. However, once you reach level 10, it caps out at 3. You may want to craft a few star cards to unlock a couple slots right away. Tip number 2, Dodge. While playing Battlefront 2, you're going to get shot a lot. And a majority of the time, you won't know which way the shots are coming from. The best way to survive in this situation is to evade quickly, locate the enemy, and return fire. The moment you start taking fire, your top priority should be to break the enemy's line of sight, even if there's no cover. This is why dodging and crouching are crucial to your survival. You can perform a rolling dodge by pressing B as any normal class soldier. By dodging quickly, you become a moving target, which is far harder to hit than a stationary one. Tip number three, third person advantage. The stunning beauty of Battlefront 2 is a great reason to want to stay in first person view. First person is more immersive, however it does limit your field of view to the area that you're facing. By holding down on the D-pad it will place you into a third person point of view. Third person is useful for close quarters combat and defensive playstyle. It allows you to see your character's surroundings better and may help you locate the source of incoming fire. Tip number 4, Predictive Shots. Space battles can be tough when you're just getting off the ground, but once you've mastered them, they're a blast. Just remember to use the HUD's predictive circle to land your shots. When in your ship, the HUD will display the enemy fighters with a red mark. It may be instinctual to fire your weapons at them directly, but the quick pace and distance between ships means that by the time your bullets get there, the ship has already fled its path. This is where the predictive circle comes in. Your ship will project a white circle that follows in front of the enemy fighter. This is typically called leading your target, and it's a skill that seasoned players have to master in order to land shots on a distant moving target. Luckily, your ship is so advanced, it's able to do these calculations for you. All you have to do is fire at the white circles, and you'll be taking down those enemy pilots in no time. Red leader standing by. Tip number five, class milestones. Battlefront 2 has plenty of challenges in the form of milestones. These are how you can obtain new weapons for a class, as well as the mods for those weapons. Each class has its own set of milestones. Getting kills with a specific class completes these milestones, which can unlock guns for that class. Then, getting kills with specific guns can unlock their weapon mods. Mods do a variety of things, from increasing damage towards vehicles, to adding a larger scope onto the weapon. Now, it may be a bit of a grind, but the more you use your favorite weapons and classes, the sooner you'll complete the milestones, making them even stronger. You'll be a Sith Lord in no time. Battlefront 2 is an experience any Force wielder can enjoy. The multiplayer feels like a full-on war, and the campaign is a great way to tell an untold story. It even rewards the players with hints to a question we've been asking since Episode 7's release. So whether you're excited by the long-awaited space battles, or the jaw-dropping beauty that the Frostbite engine has to offer, this game is a satisfying addition to the Star Wars universe. So good luck, and may the Force be with you.